The Lightning Network is a network of routed payment channels. The concept for payment channels has been around for almost as long as Bitcoin, but they have very limited usability and weren't implemented for any large use case. The Lightning Network expands this idea by routing payment channels together to form a network, the Lightning Network's innovation being the routing, which was the original topic of this video, but it got so long that I've decided to split it into a five or six part series to make it easier. This first video is to explain how payment channels actually work. One of the most common misunderstandings is that payment channels work like plumbing, and the transactions flow through like running water. For example, if I'm Adam and I have a channel with Bob for one Bitcoin, I can transfer three Bitcoin from my Lightning wallet by sending a one Bitcoin Lightning transaction three times. If I want to pay Carol the three Bitcoin through Bob, the series of transactions flow from me through Bob and finally making it into Carol's Lightning wallet. This would actually make sense and work more like other network routing systems we have today, but the Lightning Network doesn't work this way. The best way to visualize a lightning channel is an abacus, a thin rod strung with multiple beads that slide from one end to the other. The rod is like the channel, the beads are bitcoins, and on each end is a different user or node. Whichever side the beads lay on, they belong to that user. If all the beads are on side B, side A cannot send any more beads over because he has none to move. The only way he can ever transact again is if side B sends them back to side A. There's no way to add more beads or take off a portion of the beads without taking the rod down altogether. Now let's get back to Adam, Bob, and Carol. If Adam wants to pay Carol, the transaction does not flow through Bob. Some of Adam's Bitcoin slides to Bob's end of the AB channel, and some of Bob's Bitcoin goes to Carol's end of the BC channel. Bob's total amount of Bitcoin has not changed, but his individual channel balances have shifted, and the direction he is now able to send his funds have as well. Let's give this a real-world example of how this would work. Let's say you have a multi-channel Lightning node, and your local grocery store announces that they now accept Lightning payments. So you open up a channel for $100 before you drive out to the store. And at the checkout, you scan your Lightning wallet to make a payment, and to your surprise, the transaction fails. It turns out your friend Pat went to the grocery store right before you and routed through you to pay the store. You still have your $100, but it is now in the channel you and Pat have, and no longer in the channel with the grocery store. You can try to find an alternative path through Pat's connections that make it all the way to the grocery store. But if there are none, you have to pay another time to open another channel, lock up another $100, and hope that the same thing doesn't happen again. A single transaction can make up to 20 of these hops, shifting the balances of 20 other users. That is if a path discovery method is even discovered. Channel balancing complicates path discovery and routing in a massive way. Because you don't just have to know the available paths between nodes to a destination, but also the channel's capacity, the constant shifting balances, and the cost set up by the intermediate node operators. You aren't just routing through millions of nodes, but millions of nodes with tens of millions of constantly changing channels, where a few thousand transactions can change the state of a hundred thousand channels every given second. No one knows how to do this. We'll talk about how routing currently works on the small sample of 1500 nodes at the end of this series, which will likely take four to five videos to complete. So if you like this video, let me know. If you want to see the rest, please subscribe. Next we'll be talking about how onion routing complicates this even further.